Hi, I'm Tori, and the new updates for SEM just dropped for the month of March 2024. I will be walking you through these updates. Here is a summary sheet to follow along or save it as a beautiful work of art. To start, we have the login page. The login page now has all three, the company ID, username, and password. It used to just have the company ID on a separate page, and then it would take you to the username and password, but now they're all three combined. So if you would like to see these release notes for yourself, you can click this little help button over here, click on what's new, and it will be right here. That's where I took the summary from. So what's also new in this resource center is the support portal. You can now send tickets into the support portal and you have to request an account to access the portal. So send an email to sagecmsupport at sage.com and you will be able to access the portal to put in tickets, get some help in solutions. So we're going to go back to the home menu. Next in the updates is the checklists. So in the checklist, there's a new filter to show only checklists with open items. Here you have access to it or with closed items. And you can apply and it'll show you. You can also add columns that show the number of items in the checklist right here. Also new is that when you have your alerts checked, closing allowance packages are, will no longer appear in the alerts list if they're closing. The next update is the alerts list. So here in your alerts list, if you have allowance packages that you already closed, they're no longer going to appear in this alerts list. You lastly can now, through the accounting link, release retainage on Prime invoices. So when you go to your projects and you have a specific Prime invoice, You can scroll down, release retainage, release these amounts, and click save. Then you will be able to access them through your accounting link. And the release retainage on the invoice will go straight to the retainage amount sent to Intact, and Intact automatically selects the retainage release line checkbox then the amount is entered in retainage to bill this period field for applicable line entries. You'll be able to do this through the accounting link in post batch wizard. And there weren't a whole lot of new updates, but these updates are super exciting because SCM is getting better every day.